Spar. Make sure that this is the right spar. Uh, make sure that you're... So, spar. The spar in the UK, my friend, is like... Well, spar means safe in German. It's like a German discount store. So... We're going to get two spars. So, what we've got to do is... Still line up with your servos, I think. Wait, let me, let me carry on watching this. Okay, so I've got to make this angle match here, apparently. But what? 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 I don't understand what's happening. What? I'm fairly sure it's got to be the other one. But yeah, these fancy pants angles that he's going on about don't line up. I don't get that. Let's consult the PDF. So apparently it's that one. But left wing panel. Right, so is the one that I'm working on now the left wing panel? No, this is the right wing. So, is it? What the fuck? No. <laughs> so this must be the left wing panel. No. Yes, left wing panel. Which goes on the left. Yes, okay, that's the left wing panel. Which then means that... This is for the left wing panel. Jesus. It's one of these things where if you <laughs> look at the PDF plans, it, in all honesty, that will help you out with some of the crapness of this uh, thing you have brought. So what I'm going to do is... Be gentle with it. It doesn't want to come then, could it? And then I'm going to try and dig the foam out because that seemed to work best on the wing. Get rid of the paper. Okay, I'm going to use the scalpel blade. Okay, again with a nice sharp knife you can be incredibly gentle. This, this is what we're trying to aim for. So that's that's quite good. So I'm now going to just gently rub the scalpel down here again. Oh, 
obviously it doesn't really matter what knife you use as long as it's a brand new blade. But all I've done to cut these grooves out is literally to run the scalpel down it. Obviously different levels of sharpness on blades, weights of knives and things. That is that. I now need to. How does that look now? That looks fine. Okay. So I'm just going to run glue here and here. You don't really need to see that. Mostly because I'm going to pause the camera so I can clear up all these foam blocks all over the place. But, um, I'll be back to you very shortly once I have applied glue and such things. Doing the big old zigzag. Okay, so not the best I've ever done, but again, that is now glued together. It, it's doing some weird things, they, this, this um, hot glue gun. Slightly scared that it's melting the foam and it shouldn't be, but we'll see. So now we've got to do is we've got to apply hot glue here, hot glue here. And then we're getting it lined up here and here and get pushed, just push it like that until it sets. So, I'm trying to make sure this is Roughly lined up right. I'll tell you what, I think I might do is grab some little weights that I have. And put that there. It's roughly lined up as it should be, and we'll wait for that to set for a little bit and then we're moving on to servos which i actually need to get out so um should be ready by the time this is dry so i'll be you very shortly okay so i have um set this up There's actually a bit of chocolate on there because i just had some cabbage dark milk um and this is ready now to get folded over i'm going to glue this bit on the bar first and then i'll glue this back bit down um, I've also got the servos, made sure they work, put them set up, rubbed all the oil off them. Do not buy these servos, the race star ones, you can use them up and then never buy them again, because they're crap. I've also had to go and put some glasses on, I feel like I've aged 10 years in a week, I've got grey hairs and now I've got to wear glasses to work on stuff. Okay, so they're actually going to do the servos next, okay. Maybe that is this one. Maybe this one. Maybe like that. Now I am going to have to cut some away to get this to fit. Unfortunately, stick out a little bit, but never mind because oh, otherwise, that's a lot of work and a possible cock up on my behalf. Now, I need to feed this to the back, put up the other one on the side, I guess. Okay, so um, apologies for the slight interruption. Do the servo in, got the cable coming around and taped on top. Now, 
in the instructions what they say to do is to then let me just right what they say to do on this is put glue in this here glue across here glue on this tail bit clamp it together what i'm going to do because that's a lot of hot glue to put down i'm going to do it across here and on here so i can do this this bit a later date so let me grab the hot glue gun not the best job in the world, but it's my first go at this guy. It concerns me quite how much it sort of makes that noise every time I they do anything. Let's pull this hole that way up. Yeah, use my little. They don't weigh a lot these blocks but they are enough just to hold things down and in place um so you need that 45 seconds to dry and then i'm going to glue the other side i'm debating what to do for the second wing because obviously we haven't started that yet that's still just a floppy piece of floppy please a floppy piece of foam um i think what i might do is try making it as a speed run i don't know like a, like a time lapse thing um something interesting to watch to think once i've done this it's more or less finished um i might put some packing tape over that server i'm not happy sort of noise it was making um it should be about done i think it hasn't immediately sprung up at me Um, happy with that, it is surprisingly solid really considering that all this is holding together it is with foam so now what I'm going to do is try and get my hot glue gun in there I'm going to hold the wing upside down put that away I think And then I'm going to squeeze that down. Something that I have done in all of these places where it's being glued is making sure I put that tape earlier. It's been cut away. I have hot glue on my phone. I'm going to scream. One of the many reasons why I hate hot glue is the way the strings of it gets everywhere and it then burns you. Ow! Ow! Ha ha ha! I want to press this down. Make sure I am 100% happy with it. Have I got another one of those weighted blocks? I don't want one of the eight crosses because it'll cause a bit of a mark. Although, at least one thing that I will say is the fact that it seems to have been packed in a way that any shipping marks are on the inside of the plane. Um, even stuff like this. So, because it's that side that's been marked, that's the bits that are going to fold in. So, while I criticised it at first, it'd be nice not to have marks over it at all. At least all the marks are going to be on the inside of the plane, from what I can tell. Um, so, how are we doing with this? Quite good, I'm quite happy with that. And of course, if you were going to make a faster version of this, you could add carbon fibre. I'd say probably when you fold this up, what you could then do would be a bit of pain because of this, but sink into this piece of foam a carbon fibre strip. I'm going to build it as per the kit, and we'll go from there. Um, also, the glue on here, I guess, sends it up. I might put some tape on the leading edge just to uh, help that out a little. But and repeat the same process on the other wing. Next, let's okay. So then, just cuts to having two wings exactly the same. So that is how I've done one of the wings. But again, you can see the damage on the other one. Anyway, um, I am going to now 
attempt as much as possible to now do a speed run um, not as in time i'm going to take my time with it but for you guys it's going to be uh, i forgot what it's called not a slow motion a fast motion um and we building the second way so hopefully that will be enjoyable for you um but you'll get to hear my lovely little tones in a minute And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have two finitoed wings, which I am somewhat impressed about, other than the fact that apparently the leading edges don't match up. What the hell's happening here? Oh, they do, roughly. Okay. <laughs> and apparently then I was like, I've built these wrong. Excellent. Uh, no, um, these do look now about right. Um, what, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave the video here or not. What I might do is quickly edit this video and see how close we are to being done um for this episode and we'll see where we go from there right if this is included it's because i've decided to end the episode um so yeah we have both wings done um next we're on to joining it together and doing the fuselage stuff if you enjoyed please click the like button um remember to subscribe if you're new want to see more of these type of shenanigans um also comments likes and subscribes are the three things that we have to ask for I'm not sure which ones i haven't done any questions or comments or feedback or anything leave it in the thing above down below i suddenly realized i haven't actually finished this so i've got to glue this section i'll do that off camera um yeah so to 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 actually um build this i'd say use the video and also use the free plans get the aio ones because that shows everything it helps you sort of learn which type of thing you are. If you've built one of these before, it's probably easier for you. But if it's a new one for you, then, yeah, that's what I recommend to do. Um, I did end up using a second scalpel blade halfway through there. Um, slightly concerned that I don't know where I put the semi-used one. That's a little bit scary. Now, I normally try and keep that. I'm usually quite good in this workshop at being safe with discarded knife blades, but never mind. Um, so yeah, um, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.